Now, I hope you're feeling great about the blog so far, but there's one thing that you might want to know, and that would be how you can actually generate a site map. Now, site maps are helpful not just for people, but they also really help Google crawl your site and know exactly what pages should be indexed. And we can do all that with an integration in Astro called Sitemap. So I'm going to come over here and let's just go ahead and install it. As another one of these nifty CLI uh, tools that makes it really easy, I'm going to close down the sidebar. I'm going to kill the server and then just type npx astro add sitemap. Is it going to ask if it can install that? And I'll say yes. And then finally, it's going to update my Astro config for me. If I come over here to my Astro config, you can see that what it's done is it's added a sitemap at the end of all of this. Now, the nice thing about this is that's pretty much all you got to do. All right, so now I can just build the site itself. So if I say npm run build, which is not something I've shown you yet how to do, it's going to go through and build everything on the entire site. And then it's going to remind me of the only thing I had to tell you, which is that it's required that you have a site attribute. All right, so the one thing I forgot, if, I can, if you come down here, uh, let's see, right here. So you got to have something like a site. So this is inside the defined uh, config, which is right here but outside the integrations. Now, in this case, when we get around to actually putting this up on the internet, which we are gonna do in this series, I'm gonna call it astroblogcip.netlify.app. Now, I actually also have an instance of this available on my own website, Coding in Public, but we're gonna do it here just so it lives separately and I can show you how to get it up on Netlify. Now that you got that, it can generate a sitemap. And like I said, it's just about as easy as this. So it builds everything and you can see it's created a sitemap for me. Now, if I come over here, I can look inside the dist folder, which is where the final build will be. And I've got a sitemap zero, and I've also got a sitemap index. Now, both of these will basically, um, one of them will point to the other one, and then one of them will list off everything. So the sitemap index here just points over to this one. This one lists every page available. Now, these are all the pages currently built on my site. Let's say I don't want this about page to be built in the sitemap for whatever reason. If I come down here, you can actually, let's see, there are a bunch of different configurations you can play around with. I just want to show you this filter one because I think that's really what most people would use. You can add multiple things you want to filter out. So let me show it to you. So it'll be just like this. So we're going to pass in, uh, let's see, uh, an object right here. This will have filter and automatically you get each page that has been built. And you can just say if page does not equal, and then as a string, you can just paste in whatever thing you don't want built. Now, if I save this here, I can go ahead and run it again. And when it's done, if I come over this way, let's see, and open up this, if I search for about, it shouldn't be there and it's not. So if you want to exclude something, for instance, if you have something with like robots.txt as a meta tag and you don't want it indexed, you don't want it visible on your sitemap, you might want to exclude it like that. You can see over here, if you want to add multiple things, just throw a double ampersand there and you should be set to go. Now, I'm not going to filter anything out because in this case, it's not going to build your 404 uh, anyhow, which is the only thing I wouldn't want included in here. So if I come over here and I search for 404, that's the wrong one. If I come over here and search for 404, it's not going to be visible. So that's the only thing I wouldn't want as part of my sitemap. And Astro is smart enough to know that anyhow. All right, so that's how you deal with sitemaps. If you want to play around with some other things like custom pages that aren't included in your Astro site, but you do want included in your sitemap or things like that, or limiting if you have more than 10,000 posts or something like that, I'll let you play around with these customizations. That's the basics and I think what most people will use. In the next video, we'll talk about RSS.